Hey guys, well I hope everybody's been enjoying their uh, 4th of July holiday weekend here. I've, I've had a pretty good weekend just playing around the shop, getting some stuff cleaned up, doing some work, and I decided to go ahead and try to get my AC installed. Uh, I did that yesterday. The, uh, the window unit, not the big unit. And things were pretty successful. So I took some clips of it, thought I would go ahead and show you my little adventure hooking up a window unit. Uh, I really, I don't do a lot of carpenter work, but uh, you know, it's not that hard. I, I got her done. So just figured I'd share it with you. Today's Sunday and uh, I've got a uh, special guest coming by here in a little while, He's gonna pay me a visit. So uh, I'll have the camera ready for that. You guys will see that later on, maybe next weekend. So uh, anyway, I've got climate control out here now and, and I'm very happy about it. It feels a lot better. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you what I did. This is another little job that I, that I just did today. Uh, nothing, nothing major. This is just one of those little um, screwdriver tools that go in a, you know, a cordless drill. And this belongs to Harry, the guy that's doing my ceiling. And he, he said what the problem is. This is actually a cobalt brand. Is that the uh, the steel hex here gets loose in the aluminum housing, and it'll it pops out. It'll st start just falling out of there. So what I did was. Uh, I drilled it and I put a tension pin in there and you can see it you can see it right there this is one of those little quick deals that you you pull that out and you got a, a drill and a countersink on one side and you got your uh, screwdriver tip on the other you just stick that in there and like so so I fixed that up for him and uh, I think that's about it so anyway I'll show you the uh, little little bit of work I've been doing. So I'm working on this window here today, as you can see wide open now. I'm trying to get it framed up for my window unit air conditioner. And I run into a problem. I thought I would show you, and I'm sure that some of you guys that are doing that do, that does carpentry work are probably gonna be laughing at me, but you know I don't do carpentry work. I've never worked with windows before. I hardly ever cut wood. So I finally got the window out. And I thought it was just going to be a simple thing. There's the window out there. I was trying to save it. Just so that it's a good window. If I ever need to put it back in here, I could. But there were screws around the outside of this frame here. And I took those out. And I used about a gallon of caulk to seal it up and hold it in there. But this bottom piece, I could not, I can't get to move. I mean, I've been using my little wonder bar here, trying to get her pried up. And I don't see any screws in here. But it feels like there's something underneath that's holding it in. Looks really solid. And when I finally got the window loose, I was rocking it, and it finally broke here on the side. So there's two screws on each side that was holding this bottom piece onto the window. So that broke off. So the only thing I've been doing just to try to basically just demo in it now to get it out, I've been hammering this uh, pry bar up under there to try to get it to work loose. I just can't figure out what the hell is holding I don't know if it's just glued down that bad or what, man. So, all right, we're about to find out. Maybe I'll let you see this. It's already destroyed, so. Uh, and it just feels like every time I do that, I'm just destroying that frame in here. See how solid that is? got to be a stud or a screw or something holding it. <clears throat> so, I'm tearing something up. Like I said, I know you guys that do this kind of stuff are probably laughing at me. I'm trying to see what's holding it. I don't know, it's like there's 
something's bolted down to that concrete right there. like metallic something metal hmm almost like the window is concreted in down here on the bottom I'm having to just cut it apart see what I mean I don't know it's new to me guys so much for saving the damn window I guess if it ever if I ever do take this window unit out I might just have to see about buying one window to fit it all right I'm gonna go ahead and work the rest of this off and get it broke off there all right I got it off that's basically all I did was just chisel it off and break it away Pry it up so maybe the experts can tell me what it looks like to me is that they had the window installed and then they came back and poured these the concrete on each side so that you can't access the bottom of the window there I don't know I'm gonna go ahead and trim the rest of this off kind of smooth it out some and uh I don't know, we'll see. I'm just kind of hacking it here. Hey, I got the first board in. I made it a precision fit. I had to uh, cock it in there sideways and I used my little rawhide to <laughs> tap it down in there. And uh, I've got just a slight little lean to it. The board isn't perfectly, you know, even, but I've got it, I've got it leaned back just a little bit. And uh, put four screws in it, two on each side. Okay, moving on. Finally making use of my little forklift down here. That thing's a little bit too bulky for me to grab by myself. So I was able to manage to uh, squeeze the little electric forklift up in here. And I think I'll be able to get it to where I can reach in from the inside and slide it through the hole. I just want to get it set in there and kind of set it down and go ahead and get one side screwed in. So let's let's see if I can make that happen. enough room to get it in there battery's getting a little low on me I'm almost up to the press now yep all right I think I can slide it in there from here Work smart, not hard, right? Well, what do you know? I got her in there. That thing's a lot more rigid than I thought it was going to be, man. And, uh, these little brackets on the side and just everything seemed like it was a little flimsy, but I got it in there and I screwed this side onto this part of the frame. And then I cut the board and put this one in and uh, got it kind of. Leveled up with it, 
put them screws in, man, that thing's, that thing's rigid. This is still a little flimsy up here because I don't have it all together. I mean, the thing's in there. I was afraid that it was going to try to fall out of there. But it's firm. I got it on the back and tried to push on it. And it's nice and tight. I'm gonna... So I got to do some plywood work. And I'll be, I'll be starting that next. I'll have to go buy me some caulk or some sealant or something because I don't, I don't have any here. But I'm happy it's coming along. All right, Chuck. Just got through eating my steak lunch. Got the smoker going good. Got the ribs and the chicken. They're doing great. I got the window unit today uh, installed in the window. Got it insulated and boarded up. And now Fernando's over here and he's helping me get it hooked up, wired in. So I think today we might actually see this thing run, start cooling the shop down. How's it going, man? That's going good. We're only about 10 or 15 minutes away from getting it fired up. All right. We're doing a little temporary wiring here. We've got to come back and put some conduit around this. We're just going to do this to fire it up. Today. Yeah, we're going to do this to test it out. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> For a few uh, hours, huh? Yeah. yeah so yeah. so uh, it's getting close. Almost got air conditioner in here. I really think you ought to be turning this thing on, Adam. I'll turn it on. Okay. Oh, uh, we're gonna turn it on for the first time. This be the first time we ever have air conditioner in the shop. Absolutely. We're about to. Fernando got it wired up. And it looks real nice, dude. Thanks. Sir. There's your breaker. That bottom right. Get that all, all off. Absolutely. Power on. Power on. Let's see. I turned that all the way to warm. What you want to do is just leave it on warm when you crank one of these up. Okay. And, uh, and then go ahead and put this one in your, your uh, seal heat drive here. Yeah. That's all cool. Yeah. I would say, you know, that thing will automatically turn on and off. Maybe you want to be here? Yep. We got, we got one. Yeah. Hold on. We're getting ready to turn this thing on for the first time. But I guess we'll go to high cool. What do you think? Yeah. And then and he's turbo. Got yeah, turbo. Go to turbo. Let's see where all we got. But get a good roll around that. Eh? We got it hooked up. Yeah. It's hooked up. Yeah. All right, here we go. Some dust in there. Yeah, a little dust in there. All right, there's the AC. High cool. Turbo. There's turbo cool. It's blowing. Good camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they can see you, believe me. <laughs> yeah. See, it's on its warmest setting and it's it's cooling. So you can leave it there and it'll cycle on and off. Usually the uh, minimum on these things is like I think for the warmest. But you want it on colder. You do, cold. But it's just a, it's just to see if the thermostat's working. Okay. But it's so warm in here right now, it's bottomed out on its on its warmest position. So yeah, you put it at 50%. All you gotta do is paint that board wide. You can't be on a different color with it. Paint the board? Yeah, paint the board. I'm going to, whenever he's painting some more boards, I'm gonna have him go ahead and touch that up whenever he's got the paint out. All right, so then now I can go ahead and put your pork chop. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Five minutes. Oh, stop. <laughs> All right, we got it going. It's cool. It feels yeah. good, too. Okay, it'll come down now. We've got to close the window. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll close it up and see how we uh, do this. The ceiling's not finished yet, so I'm going to be losing some of it, but I want to test it out and see how it does. Yeah. And I'll turn that fan on. And oh, yeah. It'll, it'll let blow it, blow it oh, down. Yeah. How many windows are open back there? Just, just, just the one. Yeah. Just the one there. Perfect. All right. 
Did good, man. Thank 100%. you. Absolutely.